Hey guys, welcome back. I have here a Nikon 51.4. Keep in mind, this is not a regular um, Nikon lens, not the F mount, but it's made for the Nikon rangefinder. That I believe it's the SP. I'm not sure the uh, the Nikon SP uses the same adapter or the same mount as the Leica M because this lens comes with the original M mount. This mount is really important because it is also a focusing barrel. So guys, if you guys are thinking about getting this lens, make sure the lens comes with everything, especially the mount. So what do I know about this lens? <laughs> well, the answer is absolutely nothing. I've got this lens, I think like six, seven years ago when I was playing around with the, the Leica film. Well, back then I was really fascinated with the, the vintage Leica lenses that I decided to put this lens aside. I found this Nikon Relic when I was doing the house cleaning. So this is my first time using this lens. And what do I think about this lens? Well, number one, the build quality, it's solid. Now, as for the image quality, it appears this lens has mixed reviews. Maybe it's not as good as a Leica. But considering the price difference, I don't think it's a, uh, a reasonable comparison. Now I use this lens on the Leica Monochrome Fuji GFX, also the Leica SL. I use the lens either wide open or at f4. And you know what? I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. But you will have to make your own decision whether you like the image quality or not. Now, in my opinion, this lens goes pretty well with the Leica Monochrome. But the thing is, the lens is too small for the Leica SLs. And the biggest surprise came from the GFX. This lens covers the GFX rather nicely. It does vignette, but the outcome is, I find it to be pretty acceptable. Actually, I think it's pretty good. Um, the only problem is, this lens is so tiny when mounted on the GFX. I'm just glad I could use this lens on all my cameras. Well, anyhow, things were pretty busy for us um, the past few weeks. We have been busy connecting with different people, um, trying to build the community. So the question we have been constantly asking ourselves is, what is a photo community? Well, the obvious answer is you will be needing a lot of photographers to be in your community. But is it really enough? What I want to see in a photo community is it's able to contribute not only to each other, but also to the society in general. So we've been talking to uh, a lot of people and we try to figure out what we have and we, what we don't have and what we can do and what we can't do. And you know what? The more I talk to these people, the more I realize that photography has tremendous potential to do a lot of good. So we are really excited and we believe it can be done. I've been working as a community member for a semi-government organization responsible for doing a small business loan. And my role is to uh, provide some kind of a mentorship for these approved small businesses. And so through this organization, we have managed to build um, some kind of a working report with different parties. And the more we know about their operations, the more we realize we could use photography to connect everyone. Therefore, a photo community should consist of people from all walks of life, from various industries, not only photographers. See, this idea is still at a conceptual stage. I mean, it's not that difficult to brainstorm an idea, but the question is, how do we realize it? Well, I guess the answer is one small step at a time and to stay focused and not to give up so easily. Specifically, what we're doing right now is building a website. For us, a website, it's really a roadmap, sort of like a business plan or an escalator pitch, if you will. Anyhow, I'm sorry I didn't talk much about the lens. Well, honestly, there's not much to talk about. I've taken a lot of samples with it, both still shots and the video. That should give you enough ground for you to decide whether you like this lens or not. And personally, I find it to be really boring regurgitating the spec. Therefore, let the image or the video speak for themselves. And if you find these images to be really crappy, now let me clarify one thing. It has nothing to do with the lens. It's me, it's my fault. And I will try my best to take better pictures. So thank you guys for watching this video and listening to my ranting. I will see you guys next week. Bye!